This must be the most common feedback producers receive. Let's take a look 7 easy ways to add energy to your tracks. Number 1. Increasing perceived rhythms. So let's say you have this track. Now the underlying tempo of this track is 124 BPM and it is determined by the how many kicks that we have per minute as is an EDM track. This is underlying rhythm. Perceived rhythm or perceived tempo is the tempo that we as a listeners perceive and mainly influenced by different percussions in a track. If I want to double the perceived rhythm, I will add a percussion that is the double the tempo of the original kick and 8 hats. Do you see how the rhythm felt like it's almost doubled? And this is one of the really smartest ways to increase the energy in your track. For example, a 16 percussion would be really perfect fit. The perceived rhythm is not deterministic, so if you want people to perceive the track faster, you should increase the amount of faster percussions in your track. Let's support this percussion with the 16 hat. And on top of that, maybe a 16 shaker. So you see how suddenly we feel the track is faster and have more energy. Number 2. Filling spectrum with energetic frequencies. One of the easiest way of doing it is actually just adding a noise to your track. We have something like this. So let's add simple white noise to increase the energy levels. If you want to be a bit more flashy and make something a bit more coherent with your track, you can actually use resampling to add energy to your track. All you need to do, play the lead sound of your track, add a long reverb, add another reverb, and click on freeze, and then turn off the origin signal. New track, resampling. Now pitch that resample sound one octave up, EQ and sidechain compression together. You can definitely layer this one with the bite noise to even more energy. Now this was the part we feel the energies on really high frequencies, but you can also feel the other frequencies by using parallel chains. We have the percussion loops here. You can create a return chain, a little bit reverb, overdrive and cooler compression to squash them up and blend into the original signal. Let's try with the track. Now finally you can also utilize regular return channels for, for your lead sound to make it a bit more energetic. Now, if you try all together, number three, adding layers. You can break this into two different ways. The first one is when you have something that is not really aggressive, so you can fill it up with the new layers. For example, I have this one here. Beautiful piano, but it's not as strong as we need to be in the track. So we need a layer on top of that, feel the frequency range, give more energy. So if you take the same course piano playing and get a more aggressive preset. Look how much energy it adds to the track. In the second version, if you have something older that is rich, how can you layer it actually? So in this case, we have this very rich synth sound. There are not much room to add another synth, but the simple trick is actually adding things that are octave or two octave above the original sound. Take the same sound and put it one octave up, now we have much brighter version of it. And we can take off from the bottom end a little bit. The origin sound together suddenly it's much fuller together with the track number four attacks and the feels feels can make a whole world of difference i have this track over here 
really cool, but it doesn't give you enough danceability. So we need to make something happen here. We can start with adding some synth attacks. So maybe something like this. And on top of that, maybe a riser style synth. Let's try them on track. Okay, cool, it's working, but now we have to support these ones with the drums, with the drum fills. So let's emphasize the second two bars. So what you can do, give a break and start with double kick to emphasize the break. Immediately works. Now let's support this with some extra drum fills. Let's use something as simple as this. Try one more time. Suddenly, track gets much more danceable. Number five, playing with the envelopes. One of the easiest ways to add energy to plucky sound is actually opening up the envelopes. I have this really soothing arpeggio. It would be a nice intro, but it cannot carry the track during the high points. So I assigned both envelope 1 and envelope 2 filter and cutoff envelope on this button. So when I open this, the envelope will start open up and the sound will get bigger and more energetic. Support with the cutoff. Another very common method is actually playing with the filter. Here I have this sound. The obvious choice will be obviously the opening up the cutoff filter. My recommendation would be rather than making a linear increase in your cutoff filter, close and open at the same time. Something like this. So when you do the automation like this, your audience will perceive the sound much more organic rather than having this linear robotic increase in the cutoff. But if you don't want to play with the cutoff, there's another easy way. Let's say this is the shelf EQ, similar to the one that we did previously, but this time play with the gain. Number seven, adding high energy particles. One of the easiest way to add energy to your track is adding really high energetic percussions. So things that are mainly above 8K frequency range. So we have this drop here, but it lacks a bit energy. We even have white noise, but it's still not enough. And here, high percussions are perfect fit. So let's introduce first a crash hit. Something like this, let's try. It's already more energetic, isn't it? So when the last crash hits, we have a bit problem to sustain the energy level. So let's add a ride to keep the energy levels even after the crash sound. So something like this, right? Let's try it together. Much more energy, so easily. 